someone accidentally used the Jewish autonomous Oblast flag instead of the pride flag. And I have a feeling this is not going to be the last time this happens. But I mean, can you really blame people? This literally looks identical. It just has the white bars on the top and bottom. I had no idea this place was all the way almost touching the Pacific Ocean. I feel like I was going to go years without finding that out until now. The flag of Afghanistan, according to different sources. As you might have heard, the Nono Stan land has a new flag, but not everyone has caught up on that just yet. Google is still using the old one, and Wikipedia has immediately changed. I mean, Wikipedia is pretty fast. You see how quickly they make the changes when a celebrity dies from is to was? Britannica, World Factbook, CountryFlags.com. Ooh, that's not good. New World Encyclopedia even are all still kind of using the old one. Although different styles of the old one, weirdly. This place has changed their flag a lot, so it is kind of difficult to keep up. But DuckDuckGo, they're on it. Now, this was from several weeks ago. I am curious if, like, it is still this way. Google is still using it. I guess they refuse to acknowledge the uh, new stuff going on. Okay, yeah, and this settles it. Even CountryFlags.com hasn't updated still. That's how you know you really ain't official yet. Wait, there is still one, though. Oh, come on, Bing. The New Zealand Minister of Trade has just met with his French counterpart. Guess which flag they used in the official photo. That looks like it'd be a white star. Very strange, considering the New Zealand flag it has no white stars. <laughs> I love this awkward picture of Macron. What are you doing with your hands, bro? I love that this was also posted by Change the New Zealand Flag. It is almost too perfect. I don't think they want to be living in Australia's shadow like this. Maybe this was just some sort of cruel prank brought on by the French. I wonder if this had anything to do with that submarine deal. Well, there it is. The EU flag right there next to the Chinese flag. It almost goes way too perfectly together. It, like creates this giant snake of stars. It's going to be a whole lot of people looking way too deeply into this, I think. I think this tends to be a trend, though, whenever these two organizations or countries come together. I think they do it intentionally. They know it looks really great. Aesthetically, it's actually even a little too pleasing. I don't want to say anything else in case this video gets deleted. Limited recognition state flags. States recognized by at least one UN member first. So we have, uh-oh, no, no, China. And then there's a few others that I recognize. Obviously, North Cyprus and Kosovo. These other ones are a lot more rare. Oh, this is actually just Western Sahara. Why didn't you just say so? This was really confusing when I saw this at first. Then we have South Ossetia, which is somewhere in the Caucasus Mountain region. I guess it relies heavily on military, political, and financial aid from Russia. And would you look at that? There's another place inside of Georgia. I didn't even realize this was going on. Now a level deeper, we have the states recognized only by other non-UN nations. Does this look like a Minecraft flag? Are all these regions just coming from the Caucasus Mountains? I'm now just realizing that. This area seems to have a lot of things going on. And finally, there is Transnistia, which is like this weird river nation in Europe. Or I guess it's not officially a river nation yet. But if it were to become a thing, it'd be like our European Ghana. Wait, no, I'm getting my G's confused. I meant the Gambia. So yeah, a lot of this stuff was just like post-Soviet frozen conflict zones. And finally, there's this flag, which is not recognized by any other state. Somaliland. Kind of love seeing a watermark that isn't British. These guys look like they have a Saudi Arabia watermark up here. This one has always confused me because there is Somaliland and then Somalia. It appears, though, that Taiwan is a big fan. Though these guys aren't recognized by any states, they have the longest Wikipedia page by far. They gotta have, like, a foreign minister that is in charge of just this, constantly <laughs> updating this stuff. Maybe they think, like, the longer they make the Wikipedia page, the more they'll be recognized by the international community. That's not a bad idea, though. This happened just a few days ago, an incredible image of the Taiwan flag flying over Taipei for the 110th anniversary of this country. This is way too cool right now, but it also looks kind of dystopian at the same time. I'm enjoying the real-life flags, though. This is not the flag of France. I know it looks like the flag of France, but it actually represents something entirely different. That's right, it is sideways Yugoslavia without the star. But no, it is actually the Madras Department, a small subdivision in Nicaragua. That might have been the greatest pronunciation I'll ever do of this country. And I don't even think it was that good. This department was created in August 1936. So, you know, I, I don't really know what they were thinking when they came up with this flag. I was like, hey, maybe this department was created like 2,000 years before France even existed. Maybe they were the original thinkers of this. I guess not. Oh, look at that coat of arms. Absolutely glorious. This is a very small place that I probably would have gone my entire life without knowing it existed. But they did a rip-off French flag, and here I am learning about it. Big brain move. Quite possibly one of the worst flags in history. This was a flag from Australia. 
Australia during World War One. Something about snowball marches. Is it snow in Australia? The men from Snowy River. Look at this. One watermark wasn't enough. What about two watermarks? Was this person 12? I guess they were recruitment marches to state capital cities to get people to join the Australian Imperial Force in rural Australia. Uh, and these snowball marches were named that in hopes that it would snowball rolling down a hill, gathering up more snow. I've just never thought of snow and Australia ever combined like that before. But I am now learning there are plenty of peaks to enjoy snow in this continent. Now let's not give Nick Guagua. See, I can't even pronounce it anymore. Let's not give that country so much trouble. Here's a diagram showing a bunch of copycat flags. Haven't I seen that flag before? We have in Luxembourg, Belgium. Okay, you're gonna, like, make my mind explode. Hold on. There's a place in Belgium called Luxembourg, and we are also talking about copycat flags. Yes, there is, in fact, an entire region directly next to Luxembourg called Luxembourg. Why are y'all doing this? At least change it up. At least put new in front of it. Like, yeah, here in the States, we have New Mexico right next to Mexico. But yeah, I mean, it's it's new. You, you couldn't have called it New Luxembourg? No, you just had to say it was the exact same thing. If you want to ask me, I think this is a perfect Casas Belli for Luxembourg to declare on Belgium. That is their rightful land. They're just trying to unite the Luxembourgs. Okay, anyways, point is, yes, that looks like an Austrian flag in Luxembourg, Belgium. Not super surprised this part of Paraguay has a similar looking flag to Northern South America. That was kind of a big popular little template that they were using back then. Czechia kind of just copying England's flag. We already talked about that. Love this. The Republic of West Florida. It's an unrecognized state, but started in 1810. Loving the Somalia vibes. That works well for the whole Pirates of the Caribbean theme. Oh, what the hell? The Republic of West Florida wasn't even supposed to be in Florida. It's in Louisiana. Oh my god. Here we have Spain ripping off Scotland. Although this blue does look like a little bit more deeper. This looks like more like a navy. I guess you could let that happen. Somalia also has this Russian looking flag. It's all connected. Germany once again also ripping off Luxembourg. When are they gonna stop? And of course this place is relatively close to Luxembourg too. This might be my favorite by far though. This Republic of Noli. It's not even around anymore. It's just a stretched out Swiss flag. You know the Swiss flag is like the only one that is perfectly one by one aspect ratio, but these guys decided to stretch it out to just a normal size, and the white across got a little larger. Also have this place in the Philippines that looks oddly similar to the Russian flag. I think there's probably a lot of examples throughout this. I mean, how many different versions of flags can you do? Especially with us out here just like calling these flags out for being disgusting. I think it, sometimes it is better just to copy flags that are already known for being nice. I mean, we only have so many options. Chili flag designed by a woman with... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it's not funny. Uh, Alzheimer's. Not gonna lie, this is kind of interesting though. Like, I'm kind of curious how she ended up coming up with this. Did you ever see this Texas state flag and get a little confused? I don't think so. I'm just trying to figure out why this star is in the middle. Maybe she saw Somalia's flag and was like, oh, I like that star in the middle. I'm not gonna put it right in the middle because I don't want to copy him. What are these other two stars doing here too? I would love to know like the meaning behind this. Like if she could tell us like, what do you think the meaning behind this chili flag is? It'd be incredible. Oh, I have figured it out now. She's a huge advocate for long chili. That's why she made this blue stripe so long. I mean, aren't we all though? Will the day ever come where we get this new emoji? I... <laughs> I have a bad feeling that it's probably not gonna happen, or at least it won't happen for the next, I don't know, 10 years. Do you keep the old one, or do you have to delete this one now? That's the big question. I think Apple's just gonna try to not acknowledge it for as long as humanly possible until they have to. Maybe they just won't ever acknowledge it. They're Apple. They don't care. I could use some more emojis, though. This is an actual real-life flag of the French Anglo-American Alliance in 1918. You know, I am starting to have a little more faith in humanity. Like, I do think our flag designs are getting better. I think just, you know, people posting all these different flags and me, you know, like putting all these bad flag designs on blast is really helping humans as a whole. Now, unfortunately, this person is probably no longer with us, whoever made this one, but man, did they ever deserve to be destroyed. I do think it's kind of funny in like a ironic sort of way. Like if this was a meme, this would be absolutely hilarious. Really hope that watermark was a part of the flag too. A flag of Ireland, if it ever combined with Northern Ireland, or in other terms, how to piss off 6.5 million people simultaneously. Pretty sure they wouldn't go with that if this island ever unified, but 
I don't know, that's just my guess. The history of the Kansas state flag, except it just progressively gets worse. Look how beautiful this thing was in 1925 to 1927. You had the best flag for two years, and then you decided, no, fuck that. Let's fuck this shit up. Let's make people's eyes bleed. I shouldn't be that mean to this design. It's not that terrible, at least compared to this one. You don't need font. Don't put font on it. Especially not this font. You might as well have just put Comic Sans right here. I do weirdly prefer the more saturated version of this flag. I'm not sure if that's just like the image that they ripped off of Google. At least they kept the sunflower, so they know the sunflower was cool. But then you made it about these, I don't know, these pilgrims or something. Go back, Kansas, please. This is really cool. It's actually giving me like a lot of uh, Japanese vibes. Japan loves to just do something simple with a symbol in the middle. Where is the change.org petition for this? Like, I am so on board with just going back to the old school Kansas. You know, I bash on a lot of flags, but like, I will never forgive like so many U.S. states for having terrible flags. Not you, Maryland, though. We all love you. I have a feeling that a lot of these state flags literally just threw text of whatever state they're from over their flag just so they can like stand out from all the other basic blue other flags like instead of redesigning the flag they decided hey we're just gonna put our text over the flag that way you know it's us Oklahoma Montana Oregon Kansas Wisconsin they are all at fault for this one New York really bothers me too because the city of New York's flag is so cool just rip it off who cares here's an expansion from the post earlier I thought that seemed a little limited honestly you UN member states that at least one other UN member state does not recognize? Who doesn't recognize North Korea? Is it South Korea? It is not recognized by three. Oh, oh, I was right about that, but also France, Japan, and one non-UN member, Taiwan. I didn't realize so many people were just pretending this place doesn't even exist. How did the US let that one slide? I wouldn't think that would be the case. I love how Best Korea returned the favor, though, by not recognizing the South. And then we have Giga Chad Bhutan out here not recognizing the People's Republic of China. Then there's Just Palestine, which is a UN observer state that at least one other UN member state does not recognize. Hmm, very curious. Then we all saw this recognized by at least one UN member. Here's some additional flags to the recognized only by other non-UN member states. Yeah, like you would think they'd kind of all stick together. Like, hey, but I'm not recognized by the UN either. I'll recognize you. These seem to be more in the Russian area, judging by this blue and red. Russia just trying to make everyone go independent. Not recognized by any other state. Oh yeah, West Togoland. I heard about that. That's coming close though, isn't it? Ambazonia? Is that because of the recent events? Finally, there's just here Micronations, which is Sealand, that weird little oil rig off in the English Channel. And is there really about to be a North Sudan? We already have South Sudan. Can't even find North Sudan. Or is there a, like, movement inside of Sudan to call themselves North Sudan instead? Is this what South Sudan wants? I don't know. I have no idea where this photo was taken at, but interesting flag choice to use behind the font of Korea. Of all the flag choices you could have gone with, this is the one you went with. Now, you know, I will say, it probably does look a little bit better like that than if you were to use a South Korean flag. Because if you use that South Korean flag, everyone would think that those products was brought to them by Pepsi. Poor marketing decision by South Korea. Everyone recognizes that that is not Pepsi. I really don't care what this flag is supposed to mean. I want it. I don't even know where to begin with the symbolism here. It seems very deep though. Maybe this is some sort of movement in Florida to become independent. That's the only thing I could think of with this gator here. Oh, it's actually a thing. You can get it in different backgrounds. That pink looked good, though. There needs to be more pink flags. Come on now. Woo! If I was walking down the street and saw this, I would definitely have to do a double take. Is this one of those uh, Germans that escaped to Argentina? I don't know. I just feel like forever flags with red backgrounds and a white circle with a black symbol in it is always going to be kind of like a a bad look. It's just gonna turn heads, that's for sure. This is the official flag for United Farm Workers of America. It was founded in 1962, so they don't really have an excuse. Like, 20 years after, and you didn't think, hmm, this looks a little bit sketch, especially with the eagle. I don't know. I feel like it's only a matter of time before Twitter stumbles upon this and gets them all cancelled. I mean, if they can cancel the Norway flag, they can cancel just about anything. This is a FIFA website trying to display flags, although I think something horribly happened to Wales. The dragon was burned alive or something. Something. It literally just looks like charcoal. There is still some red left. Maybe the dragon himself burned himself alive because, I don't know, Wales was just sucking at soccer. That would explain some things. In 2012, Chattanooga, Tennessee changed their flag from this to this because apparently they wanted something more modern. I just feel like we're taking massive steps backwards. I just thought it was supposed to be getting better. We're evolving. It's 
just backwards. This person created a perfect flag mural. Say that right, mural? They printed out 241 flags and put them up all on this um, door or something. This is pretty talented, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this would not be a very fun little project. Oh yeah, it's a closet door, I think. Now, I'm very curious to see which flags they left off because it does seem like I, we're missing a couple there. I wonder how people are gonna feel. I don't see a US flag anywhere. There's also a lot of like unique flags that like aren't even country based, I think. I love the addition of even like state flags they're using New Mexico here. Love that one. That old basketball flag here in Japan. That Japan, I can't, ah oh, man, I just learned about that too. I say go big or go home and use like even some controversial flags. Like if you use all of the controversial flags, then no one will think that you're just supporting one. The problem is if you just use one. You gotta use all of them to be a complete enigma to people. Our new country's flag sabotages those flags where geographic areas are colored in with flag patterns. So basically places that just throw maps on their flags. I love the inclusion of the map legend. Why don't more map flags use this? Very cool. So we have the disputed territory in light blue, the newly independent, the demilitarized zone, tornado warning, held by rebel forces, greater Delaware, and unexplored. Ah, so it's all Delaware, but just some of it is greater Delaware that they haven't yet conquered yet. It's not disputed though, it's Definitely Delawares. I think we can all get behind this. And big thanks to the October patrons. Majestic Unicorn. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Marx. Drew's Thick Briggs and Girlfriend. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Aryan After Hours. Bring Back Poland Ball. Alfonso M6. Barnsky W. Dalton D. Bullsen Nick. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.